There's a new technology that can turn anything you type into an AI generated image, and it is incredible. To give you a few examples, here are some images that I've created myself. A Care Bear in intensive care. So sad. Guacamole coming out of my sink. Because why not? Hogwarts, but painted by Van Gogh. Big Bird, Oscar, Elmo, and Cookie Monster as steampunk characters. And Donald Trump as a carrot sitting in a compost bin. A friend of mine asked me to do this one, and honestly, I don't know how they made this carrot look so much like Donald Trump. Actually, it probably wasn't that hard. The images you just saw were created using Midjourney AI. There are a few different AI image generators out there, but I'm gonna be showing you Midjourney today because I went to my community tab and I did a little experiment because that never goes wrong. Like the time I did a series of polls so my audience could pick a game for me to play one letter at a time, and they ended up just picking the letter A again and again and again. So you know things are gonna get a little bit weird. Posting an AI generated image of your top comment day one. Go ahead, comment on this post, I dare you. That was how this all started and to be honest, I had no idea what my audience was gonna pick for the first image. And then someone posted this. For the full ingredients of a Krabby Patty, see here. A Krabby Patty contains both the top bun and the bottom bun, with the top bun containing sesame seeds. It also contains CT. It's the literal description of a Krabby Patty based on every reference to it in SpongeBob SquarePants. Bravo guys, great start. So I put this entire comment into Mid Journey and this was the first result. And I mean, okay, it's got some things that were in the comment. I mean, this one right here kind of looks like uh, three burgers and a bunch of random stuff someone found on a beach. But I wasn't satisfied, so I kept going. Feel free to pause the video at any time and take a look at these images because I'm probably gonna be going through them kind of quickly. This is attempt number two and uh, more of the same thing, a bunch of ingredients on a plate. Then I got this and I was really interested in the image on the top left, so I upscaled it and then I ran some variations on it which, you know, changes it up a little bit and this is what I got. As you can see, they all kind of look really similar, but there was just something about the one on the bottom left. It looked extra oceany. And that's how we got our first result for this experiment. And I know the Krabby Patty actually looks like a real burger, but come on, they're on the bottom of the ocean. This looks more accurate to me. So I posted this beautiful Krabby Patty for everyone to enjoy. And then I said, once again, the top comment chooses the next one. And of course, one person does a thing and then everyone else wants to do it. The winner, of day two was the following. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. It's the Fitness Gram Pacer Test copy pasta. Thanks. This is the first attempt right here. And as you can see, it doesn't really know what to do with this comment. I did kind of like this one, but I ended up going with something kind of similar. Here's attempt number two. Attempt number three. I did a lot of generations on this one, but eventually I got this and I was interested in the top left one, so I upscaled it. And that's how we got our second result for this experiment. And I know this doesn't really mean anything, but none of them did. Here's a bonus runner up image for you guys. Uh, it kind of looks like a skeleton touching himself. So here we are, it's day two. I posted the image and I told you guys, Tell me what I'm gonna do for day three. And I got Rickrolled. Someone posted the entire lyrics to Never Gonna Give You Up, and it became the top comment, and I had to make an image out of it. So what does an AI do? If you give it the entire lyrics of Never Gonna Give You Up, uh, mostly it makes women and, and a bunch of uh, letters. It's really bad at spelling things, as you can see. Here's an interesting result. That's creepy as hell. This one had absolutely nothing in it. What I find the most interesting and perplexing about this is it seems to keep generating the same woman. Like this girl right here and here and maybe here. Here she is again. I don't know what that was about, but uh, eventually I got this and the bottom right one looked pretty freaking cool to me. So I upscaled it and there you have it. It's a man and a woman holding hands and maybe he's never gonna give her up. I don't know. Also, here's a runner up that I really liked, but didn't make the final cut. At this point, people are starting to realize that if you copy and paste some really long, well-known thing, there's a good chance you'll get the top comment. And uh, that's what they did. The top comment for day four was the transcript of this video. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. 
I'm simply here to apologize. As you can see, this comment got 196 likes on it, making it the top comment. I'm the one who set the rules and I just had to live with the results. Obviously the whole Logan Paul Forrest situation was super serious and a really big deal, but you know how the internet is, so here we are, and I went ahead and I generated an image out of it, and I guess it picked up on the fact that he said Forrest because this was the first result. And honestly, I found the first picture really, really eerie, so I went for it. One thing I did wanna mention is that I had to cut out one of the sentences from that comment because it had some controversial words in it. And there is a banned word list for this AI. I just don't know what those words are and I wanted to play it safe. Okay, that was a little bit depressing and I'm sorry, but uh, you don't know what you're gonna get when you do an experiment like this. So let's just move on. What's the next top comment gonna be? I don't know why this became the top comment, but it appears to be the description for the hog rider in Clash Royale. And just so you know, I didn't use this whole comment. I just copied and pasted the top part above strategy because I'm trying not to confuse the AI too much. And it's already confused because look what you've done. Well, I gotta say, the results do look pretty Clash of Clansy. You know what I'm saying? Like they look like something out of Clash of Clans. Um, they're all pretty much the same. Some mix of a guy and a pig. So the AI seem to have a really hard time with the idea of a man riding a pig. Sometimes the pig was riding the man. Sometimes the man and the pig were the same thing. I didn't really know which one of these to go with, but I ended up choosing this one right here because it looks like he's riding a hog, as in riding a motorcycle. And also he kind of looks like half man, half pig. Although I'm pretty sure his eyes are just a pig snout. So day five wasn't really my favorite out of all the days, but I gotta say day six was pretty interesting. As Crazy Dave's inventions are going wild, he managed to found a cherry bomb in a forgotten place. He looked into it, can found this info about it. Cherry bombs are explosive plants who will always fight against each other if in a bad mood. Note that these fascinating plants has 800 mils gunpowder stored within the two cherry seeds. I know what you're thinking, what the hell is this? It's obviously not copied and pasted because there's too many spelling mistakes and also I put it into Google and I got no results. Like I put quotes around it and whatnot and Google was like, I don't know what this is. And it turns out this guy David or Daved or whatever just made it up. Well, the results were kind of nice. Like this one right here, it kind of looks like there's an entire world inside of these cherries. So I upscaled it and honestly, it's pretty beautiful. But the one I liked the most was in this set right here because this one right here not only looks like a bouquet of flowers, but it also looks like some sort of mushroom cloud explosion. And I thought that was cool. So I upscaled it and this was a result. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised it took this long, but for day seven, the top comment was about Battle Cats. It was a copied and pasted description of the game. I didn't expect these results to look much like the actual Battle Cats game, but they kind of did. And this one tried to even spell out the Battle Cats. <laughs> like a lot of these were actually round white cats, so that's cool. To be fair, the AI is learning from images all over the internet, so it probably knows what Battle Cats is. This one was my second favorite result for this prompt because it definitely has like a cats at war sort of vibe to it. I kind of really like the one on the top left here, so I decided to take that and do some variations on it. And this was the final result. Just a little cartoon cat, sort of looks like a battle cat, and there's an explosion behind him. Interestingly enough, the person who got the top comment on day six also got the top comment on day seven, as you can see right here, and they chose the lyrics to Smash Mouth's All Star. So I did one image generation for this, guys, and the results shocked me. Take a look at this. Woman, 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 nightmare fuel. I don't know why the AI came up with this, guys. I mean, the lyrics said that she was looking kind of dumb. It didn't say she looked like she was gonna murder me. I know it's kind of terrifying, but I felt like I had no choice but to go with this image right here for the result. I mean, what the hell? On day eight, the top comment was a description of the meme known as Giga Chad. You know, this guy. I really liked the first result, if I'm honest. I just thought this guy right here, this thumb looking dude, was just perfect. I'm not gonna lie, some of these other dudes, they look uh, pretty good, but 
I made my decision. I don't know why this guy looks the way he does, to be honest, but I did notice that he kind of has a face in his torso, so that's kind of cool. On day nine, our friend Dave came back with some more random stuff he came up with about Crazy Dave. Crazy Dave now enters upon the pirate seas, an untold place of undead looters. It's been told that the zombies also have a rotten mindset that anyone who manages to build a home here will be hunted down for the precious brains. These results were pretty freaky. I once again went with the first result because I liked it. Although looking back, maybe I should have went with this one. This one was also cool, but I could only pick one. So now we've arrived at day 10. 10 AI generated images have been created from top comments. And this is the point where I had to make an executive decision not to use the top comment or the next one down because both of them were kind of inappropriate. So I used the next one down, which was this one right here. Crazy Dave goes to the hospital after not getting his precious taco, but the plants keep him some company with a couple sunflowers and some pea shooters, which makes him feel a lot better. But behind the pea shooter, there's a zombie in window watching. I think this person was going for the Daved approach here, where you just write some random stuff about Crazy Dave and you hope it wins. And I gotta say, I was pretty pleased with the results. This was the first generation I did, and I really liked the one on the top left, but I kept looking because I wanted something that got as close as possible to what they were saying. In this one, I really liked this guy right here. He's kind of cute in a weird way. Eventually, I got this right here, and I really liked the way this kind of had a little bit of everything they were talking about in it. It sort of has a pea shooter thing and a sunflower, so I upscaled it, and then I did something called a remaster on it, which was a new thing that just got released with Mid Journey. And the result was... So here's the upscale that I did, and honestly, uh, it didn't turn out super great. And here is a remaster of that image. And I love it because I feel like it says so much. There's a pea shooter right here. And there's a sunflower right here and they're just hanging out at the hospital keeping Crazy Dave company. But then you can see in the background there's this little kind of green plant. And there's a real sunflower over here which makes me think that maybe the two things in the foreground are just a part of Dave's imagination. And then as for the zombie in the window, I don't see a zombie in that window. but maybe Crazy Dave does. Also, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. If you have any ideas, let me know down below. So this was the point of the experiment where I guess I maybe got bored or I thought that was probably enough for one video, so I stopped doing these. But I thought it might be fun to do the final top comment in this video. So let's see what they have for me. So it appears that the final top comment is the rocks part in Face Off by Tech 9 Okay. Let's see how it turns out. They told me I can just do this part right here if it doesn't work. We could probably try both. All right, this is result number one. I can't say I'm seeing a whole lot. And if you put in the first two lines, you get someone driving. It's about drive. Okay, I'm gonna try these again and let's see if we get better results. Here are the first two lines again. It really seems like the AI thinks it's about a drive. And there's one more, which again, has a road in it. As for doing the whole thing, here's another attempt with nothing and another attempt with basically nothing. Okay, so it does appear that the AI is mostly picking up on the, the drive part or maybe the black and Samoan in my veins part. And then everything else is just kind of abstract, so yeah. Okay, well, as I said, guys, the AI does seem kind of confused about this one, but here's a few results that I thought were interesting. We got this one kind of looks like it could be the rock. This looks like a very determined guy wearing face paint, which kind of goes along with the song. And this is, I think, maybe a city being devoured. So that's cool. All right, guys, that's the end of our journey. If you enjoyed this little experiment, please hit the like button. And if you want to check out the last experiment, it's right here. Go ahead and give that a click. Huh?